How much are you going, please, mate? Uh, five up. Okay. You got any other games at all? Or? Yeah, I'll steal you all I've got. Okay. Yeah, I'll grab that yeah. chairs. For the back bit, are you all right? Uh, I've got one chair, thank you. Thank you. How much would you have for your game, please? Three quid. Three. Okay. If it's complete, yeah, it's yeah. brand new. It's okay, is it not? No, all oh, right, I okay. It, never played it. All right, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll grab that. Cheers. Thanks a lot, Very cheers. Well. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Are you alright? Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Jane. You're right. Yes, I am. Thanks. Good. Yeah, right, Dan. All right. What about me in the middle? Nine. Ten. Go on. You got any other game stuff for you, mate? Yeah, somewhere about. Do you know what kind of games you got, or? Go on then, two guys. There's everything the ones on the table already. Let's have a quick look. Can you just do one of these eight? I don't know if I've got that one. I can't remember if I've got that one or not. 1,500 Pokemon cards. Oh, they all the newer ones? Yeah, and the common ones. Oh, right. Common and non hollow. We do, we do both of these for seven, mate. Um, seven fifty. What's the best I could do? <laughs> yeah, go on then. That's <laughs> right. You're not going to argue over fifty p. That's all right. <laughs> You got any change for ten, please? Mum, you got the area. Yeah, that's fine. Hang on, uh, I got ten. ten I know. <laughs> so, hang on. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, mate.
Yeah, not children. Any jewellery? No, not, nothing worth of anything. Just little costume jewellery. How much are your games, please, mate? Families. Can you do 150 for both? Yeah, of course. Cheers. Sorry about the change, mate. It's a quid there. I don't care. It's all good. Right. Right. <laughs> 50 there. Cheers, mate. That. You've got any other old toys, mate? Any old die castle? I don't like that. Um, I haven't, buddy. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm right at the minute. Right, cool. Yeah. Mm. Most of them are incomplete, really. I don't How much is the old lot? I don't know, to be honest with you. They're, they're all incomplete or crap cases. I don't think there's no, any good to me in here, to be fair. Yeah, it's just nothing. <laughs> Some copied ones there by the looks of it, but. Nothing any good to me, yeah. There's a few loose discs, but there's nothing great in them. He said he's not got that much game stuff. Yeah. I don't know how much he wants for anything, but obviously he like knows his prices. Yeah. He's got 50 on all the Lego. They've asked him if he'll do 40, but he said no. So he's quite firm on that. Keep being to put on eBay, I can't be arsed. <laughs> you don't want to wrap all them up individually, do you? Could maybe do a job lot, yeah. Could it's maybe do a job lot. Yeah. Mm. I'm selling some off for a cheap day if you want to. How much was your Commodore in here? They're in the Commodore, isn't there? Oh, in it, the, the tape thing. How much oh, is it in there? 50 for the whole box, wouldn't it? 50. I think that was in there. Mm. Five I know. Um, that looks pretty nice. Oh, which one's that for? I'll leave you to it then, yeah. Yeah, I can do, mate. Yeah, you, you're more than the old. Yeah, I think there is, yeah. Yeah, I'll have a think and pop back anyway. I'll have a think about this, yeah. Yeah, I've not properly got into me Commodore stuff or out yet. Not properly. Yeah, yeah. It's good if you ask to do it. Forty on that one, Bob. Got a box. 
How much are your games, mate? One each. Okay, cheers. Would you have a few PS3? Um, oh, 25 quid. Okay. You got any other games or is it just these? Just them. Um, okay, yeah. cheers. These three chairs, mate. Yeah. There you go, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks a lot. How much are your DVDs in that in here, please? Uh, 50p. Okay, thank you. Just grab that one. There you go, thank Thanks you. Thank you very much. How much are your games, please? You got any other games at all or? Yeah, the only ones I've Okay, thank you. Yeah, the ones I've room for about eight spots. Are you going to see that shop and stuff there? No. All that whole stuff, you know, all that next stuff. It's an original, that one. It, um, yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I recognise that. I was really small. Yeah, I thought I had this as a kid, yeah. How much did you want for it? I was going to say a quid, only because it's only just come out. Yeah. For that one, but all of the, a lot of other books. Are <laughs> yeah, I remember having this as a kid. <laughs> Yeah, it is really nice condition. <laughs> yeah, it is. Let me tell you 
bigger than Fizzle Rock, right? Eh? Sure, it's not. There you go, thank you. Thanks very Cheers. How much could you do on these, mate? Eight quid. Uh, yeah, go on, get eight quid. Eight. Yeah. Five of them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you got any plates closed, though? Yeah, um, got a few bits from Bob, I think, there. Just, I'll take uh, a few bits. Controls, all oh, right. I Would you do one on its own at all? Because I was just after um, one, but it's up, it's up to you. No, sorry, love. Okay, could you do the games and yeah, I could do these the games ones? And that, yeah. Okay, how much could you? Uh, two quid. How much could you do for them? Uh, give us a couple of quid, though. All right, cheers. Thank you. Yeah, there should be some. Yeah, there should be some. Thanks, Yeah, I think you want that. 
How much was you after for these, please? What you've got in Teddy? Uh, Okay. I've got this for us. I think they're the only size I've got to have. But if you want to do it, you can do it. Cheers, thank you. Thanks. What is going on, guys, and welcome to the latest Carboot video game hunting and pickups video. We are back in the gaming cave. You're back in the gaming cave with the one and only Holster. I am. I'm the one and only. <laughs> It's good to be back guys. I do apologise for the little break in between the videos. It's been mega busy due to 50 and 60 hour odd weeks at work and also learning how to drive an ambulance. So I've been through a few tests and I, um, yeah, not passed though because I keep failing on minor things. It took me six goes to pass my test for an actual, to drive an actual car. So uh, yeah, it's not going rather well and it's proving to be very expensive. So it is stopping me a little bit from, you know, making any outrageous game um, pickups. So there's not going to be like many of them but still i'm managing to get some decent higher end titles from cex nonetheless with the nice trade fodder i can still afford to go to the booties guys so don't worry so unrelated gaming pickup the first pickup is pink foster inhaler due to adult onset of asthma yeah <laughs> that's right i've been diagnosed with asthma recently it really sucks so if you if, i don't know if you really notice in my videos or anything because i'll just like stop and then just carry on once i'm all right i can just get a little bit wheezy and just start coughing it's really weird i've had like basically query um seasonal asthma for like four years i used to play football in the states for a couple of years at competitive level i couldn't understand why i was just bent over coughing my guts up like constantly i was so physically fit back then and yeah it kind of turns out to be that and it's basically within the last six months or so um my asthma has basically like just declined a bit it's gone like pretty bad and uh, yeah i've been upgraded i've leveled up to this inhaler <laughs> it's working all right so far but i'm still having some kind of bad days so yeah it ain't easy being wheezy anyway guys on to the gaming pickups so yeah i'll kind of run through a few car boots because i don't have some of the pickups from some of these previous car boots um due to trade them in cex i'm really sorry guys it's just if i know that it's going to be a while until i get a chance to record a video i do panic and trade my things in um and it, that's because i just get scared of them like dropping in value too much and you know what it's like like during the car boot season um everything's declined like so much like obviously we sports for starters um i think even even mario kart um i think that's around the tenner mark now might might even be eight or nine quid um i do believe new super mario bros on the way i think that's nine quid yeah just to name a few but obviously yeah, they have declined so yeah been panic trading in some weeks guys so first booty guys got a couple of xbox 360 games for a quid each star wars the force unleashed and the incredible hulk so yeah i don't own either of these i just picked them up in case they might have had value in them but neither of them do i believe that i'm sure it's only like two quid or something that's one pound sixty but my cousin luke said that's a decent game and I guess that don't look too bad, to be honest. So I've put them to one side, probably going to be for the collection. All right, next bundle. So I can't remember because I haven't viewed this footage. I don't know if I've even edited it yet. Um, I'm all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, this lot, I can't remember if I paid 20 or 25 for it. I cannot remember at all. But bundle of games here, right? You know what? There was another car only game in with these games. Um, I did find um, a box for it and I traded it in CEX because I get too enticed by the credit, I do. So yeah, I'll tell you what that game was after I've showed you this bundle. So um, a cat only DS game, it is Zelda Spirit Tracks. It's not, not the most highly valuable Zelda game on the DS by far, I think it's probably the lowest value. Uh, but yeah, couldn't really turn that down. I grabbed that. He wanted like individual prices for them, but I managed to get like a bundle price. I can't remember if it was somewhere around the 20-25 mark. It might have even been 20. So next we have Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Tales. I've heard of Chocobo Racing, but that's about the only other time I've heard about Chocobo. So it's all nice and complete. I thought I'll keep that for the collection. Literally all this bundle I'm going to keep for the collection, to be honest. God of War on the PS4. Exclusive. I've been wanting to play that, and I've heard it's really good. I've heard from loads of people it's such an outstanding game, so looking forward to trying that once I have time and I've completed other games. Um, this one, Crash Tag Team Racing on the PS2, nice and complete. I grabbed it anyway, I could not remember if I had it or not. Might have it hidden away on the shelf, I can't remember, but yeah. I grabbed that just in case I didn't have it. If not, I'll probably sell it on at a show, I reckon. 
because I'm sure I've mentioned it before in a previous video, I will be stalling at the next Doncaster video game market. I need to book my table and everything. Yeah, Holster is actually going to be stalling. Yeah, just to raise, raise funds for the game collection and moving out because I want my own gaming house. Um, yeah, you'll probably notice as well, I'll just throw this in there, I do have some more gaming shelves on this side, yeah! So it's not all like carrier bags of car boot gear piled up, there only is to a certain extent, there's a little bit of car boot stuff down there, but as I pick stuff up, it's going to get shoved on the shelf for now. Uh, yeah, I know, I, I feel so guilty, because it, it, some people ask me to do a room tour, but it will not do it justice in this room. I've got so many things tucked away. There is no point in doing an actual room tour. Everything's so unorganised. But promise, guys, I will be moving out at some point. So the next game, a Wii U game. Probably my first ever Wii U game I've ever bought because I don't own a console or any games. But I will pick them up if I see them cheap. So New Super Mario Bros. U plus New Super Luigi Bros. U as well. <laughs> So, yeah, it's all nice and complete, I believe. Is the manual there? Oh, my God. Du, du, du. Did this even come with a manual? Yes or no? I actually don't know. We'll have to... Um... Oh, God. <gasps> We're have a meltdown. <gasps> it's the end of the world. You know what? I did actually pick this up with um, the intention of trading it CX, but I thought I'd keep it. I'm going to have to see if this had a manual or not, or if it just had them standard thingers. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's a game to um, get fully complete. I have to pick up manual for that if I'm keeping that. If there was one anyway. So, yeah, apart from that, uh, from Sam and his dad's stall, uh, they had um, some PS1 games for two quid each in a big, uh, you know, big crate of them. Picked out a couple. I've not seen this one before. It's called Wrecking Crew. Drive Dangerously. Not seen it around the all. Still got the sticker on. Which is pretty cool. Wrecking Crew is a lot of fast, furious, frantic fun. Official PS magazine, which is pretty cool. It's nice to see an original sticker on there. So, yeah, just looks like a fun racer game. Yeah, the characters look uh, fairly unique. <laughs> yeah, looks alright, that actually. So, yeah, a bit of an unusual game that I hadn't seen around, so I thought I'd grab that. Also saw another one. Um, yeah, this is not like a... won't be a special title to you guys, but... The nostalgia when I saw this, <laughs> and I don't usually like these games when it's like all classic -y version and whatever, but I think that's the only way to get this game anyway on PS1. So it is Demolition Racer. So yeah, I really enjoyed this years ago. Uh, yeah, so literally got it for the nostalgia factor. And yeah, both of them are all complete because Holster does not buy games without manuals, apart from that Wii U one. <laughs> so yeah, that's all really nice. Oh, other products from the Telstar range. Oh, Bubsy 3D, that's meant to be awful. Just there. I've got Formula Cats on the Saturn. I actually like that. Bit of a lack of tracks on it, but... And the tracks are fairly short, but... Enjoy that on the Saturn. That's alright. What's the other games in there? Yeah, I still don't own the original bu Bubsy. You know, like on um, SNES and whatever. But yeah, that Bubsy 3D is meant to be bad. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let me just show you a picture, show you a picture on screen right now. So, yeah, the other car only game was, in fact, Pokemon Diamond. So, yeah, a future car boot at some point. Can't remember which one it was, but I did actually get a case only for Pokemon Diamond. Um, I believe it's the one... Um, yeah, I think it was the one, um, my local one, when me and Beth both went. Yeah, which was um, a more recent car boot than this one. Um, so, yeah, and we actually... I saw a case for it. I've got it for like 50p. So yeah, I homed that car in the case, traded it to CEX for 14 quid. So yeah, I kind of need it in the collection. Beth does have it though. But um, yeah, I thought I, I was just too enticed by the credit. Just have to, guys. <laughs> so this one is a bit unrelated, but I'll stick it in there anyway. So a while ago from game, I got the new Coca-Cola Blaster Fallout merchandise. Absolutely love Fallout stuff. I really do. Um... It was Fallout 4 that mainly got me into the series. I think it's incredible. Um, never properly got into 3. I didn't have the time to get into it. Missed out on New Vegas, so Fallout 4 is my thing. Um, I'll, get into, I'll get into 3 and New Vegas at some points in the future. So, yeah, I've had that for a while. I unsealed it because, obviously, I had the intention of displaying it, which I will do at some point. Um, but, yeah, it's a new Cola Blaster. And then I was in-game, and this was reduced. I can't remember if it was about a tenner or eight quid or something. This is the other like kind of weapon <laughs> so it's nuka cola thirst zapper i've not unsealed this one or anything so yeah i just wanted both of them 
like for display so yeah i picked up the other the other zapper gun there all right guys next car boot so i'll have to tell you well yeah i can show you a picture on screen after i've shown all these pickups but yeah basically got um some ps4 games and i've already traded them in so yeah i got the last of us uh, remastered on ps4 got that for a fiver trade in for a tenner couldn't lock it down any more than the fiver so yeah fiver profit there cx credit i got dynasty warriors 8 empires and star wars battlefront 2 i think he wanted about 350 each from or something like that i managed to get him down to something like five or six quid i remember it was so yeah um and then cx gave i, I believe it was somewhere around eight quid each um so i made like 16 quid um trade credit on that um, they're, they're the current prices anyway. I'm sure it was around that, or it might have been a couple of quid more, but yeah, around 16 18 or something like that. I also got a copy of Mario Kart Wii. I believe I found that in a load of DVDs in a, a crate. And yeah, I just saw the white box and it was, yeah, it was Mario Kart Wii. I asked how much and they said 50p, so absolute bargain. Always worth looking in the DVDs, guys, just keeping your eyes peeled when you're looking through them or just as you're passing them. Because um, I, I remember that time um, when I was I was just glancing through some CDs because I was looking for, you know, my usual m and Slim Shady CDs. And, yeah, there were some CD singles and within them there was some PS1 demos. So I was stoked to find them because I, I do collect them and I enjoy playing them. There's, there's some nice nostalgia in them. So, yeah, you, you never know what you'll find, like, just mixed up in other stuff. So, yeah, do keep your eyes peeled guys um got a couple of other 360 games which i've now traded in um lego movie the video game and minecraft story mode but um yeah the minecraft story mode let me tell you guys um you can get it's like basically part one and then the rest of it's like downloadable dlc i believe um but the one that has money in it is minecraft story mode complete edition you've got to make sure it says complete i'll show you like pictures on screen just to you know show you guys what i mean um but yeah i kind of messed up on that I, I think i got both of them for like a quid each um and minecraft storm mode it's only like one pound 60 trade so uh yeah i just, I just chucked that in um and then I, I believe there's about three or four quid in lego movie video games so yeah i traded them in um last thing as well i got um five nights at freddy's it's um oh it's one of them like games where you have to be like really steady with your hand kind of like you have to be steady with your hand in like operation but like this is a bit different you have to like steal pizza from freddy um i've not set it up or had a go at, on it or anything but um yeah it was all sealed and everything i got it for like three quid i think it was so I'm, i do intend to probably sell that at um doncaster game market i'll sell it at a show um so yeah i grabbed it for the stall so yeah that is um shout out to my uncle Chaz man um yeah i've mentioned him before he's an awesome guy um uh, yeah i'm basically um storing some of my stuff at his house at the moment in his spare room um my show stuff for the show so yeah th that's where i'm like storing my uh stuff to sell basically um yeah i do apologize guys i look very ill i look like casper <laughs> what is going on with this lighting man oh it's so bad Th this room like just must be the worst for lighting i don't, I don't even know what goes on honestly got my light on and everything i've got got the little lamp thingy here but that's making me more like look more like casper and yeah i'm, I'm in front of a window as well so it, uh, it's just do apologize guys the lighting is horrid i wish i could change it on my videos i really do anyway ran over let me show you a really nice bundle that i got guys this is absolutely wicked so you will have seen it in the footage um just rumbling through a load of stuff found a load of wee stuff and whatever so i picked up a couple of um mario kart wii controllers uh wheels yeah they're not as pale as they look on this video um really nice color pink i picked them up for the collection um so i know cx only give 10p each i do know um so yeah i just bought these with the intention of keeping them because i don't have these colors so really cool picked them up and then yeah i was scavenging through them and i found mario kart wii which is all nice and complete um i'm sure at first you'll see it on the footage um <laughs> opened it no disc in it and i noticed that a few of the discs were a bit um muddled up so a few of them had the wrong discs in so i um i was like looking through all of them for mario kart when i ended up finding it so i made that complete so thank god so i grabbed that found a wii sports that's got the disc in nice and complete and then i also found this i don't think i already own this but it's dead rising chop till you drop <laughs> i'm a big fan of the dead rising games i do really like them so yeah, I thought I'd grab that. So picked up all these. Um, didn't know like how much he was going to charge, or whatever. So yeah, brought these to him. He said, "What you got?" 
So I said, I've got these three games, a couple of wheels. He said, give us two quid. Absolute bargain for these guys. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, um, this and the two wheels will be for my collection. And then CEX Trade Fodder probably might hold off on the Mario Kart because still you're not getting its full credit potential at the moment. And yeah, no brainer. Keep hold of your Wii Sports. Do not trade at any cost. Ordered by Holster TV. <laughs> There's your orders, guys. Um, yeah, this one. Um, yeah, felt a bit of uh, hype, you know, with the upcoming... Uh, well, it's not long been released, Toy Story 4. Um, I'm still yet to see it. I can't wait to see it, to be honest. Um, Toy Story 3 won't that good. It is the first and second that are the, the best for me, the first by far. So, yeah, the nostalgia kicked in because I did own this years ago. But, yeah, obviously, I didn't have it until now. So I got this for just a pound. It's a Toy Story Ladybird book. That's the uh, the brand. Ladybird books are good. So uh, yeah, I've looked through it. There's like no graffiti or anything. Really nice condition. She just wanted a quid for it. So it's all really nice. It's just like a nice little story of the movie. Absolutely gorgeous condition. Really nice. Look guys, I got it for less than it retailed for. It was one ninety nine. <laughs> but yeah. Really sweet that, really nice for the nostalgia. I, c I couldn't leave it behind for a quid. So yeah, that's that's just my collection, just for nostalgia, just cause. Um, yeah, found a couple of, where did I get these from? <laughs> I think these, was, these were um, a quid each, I believe. So um, this is an OG Xbox game. It is Rally Sport Challenge. Don't believe I already have it. Like I say, I do, I do um, as you guys know, I do collect the original Xbox um, exclusive games, so grab that. It's all nice and complete. It's even got, that's really nice that, I've just noticed it. Really nice little catalogue. Nice Xbox catalogue. It's a nice little bonus that. I love OG Xbox stuff, man. So it's just got, it's a nice little fold out thing. So we've got Project Gotham and Halo there. Let's just have a look what it's got, guys. Dead or Alive 3 there, Munch's Odyssey there. I believe I've got all of them so far. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't have Az Azuric. I don't have that one. I've got Blood Wake. I, I believe I don't have the first Amps. I've got Amps 3 on the 360 that I picked up. Thanks to the recommendation by Scott and Lewis on the funny, cheesy narration in it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Very nice that. OG Xbox is pretty underrated, I think. Cause it's got some nice um, OG exclusive games in it in the uh the whole collection i've heard of this one um it's meant to be decent kind of puzzler it is archer mclean's mercury i did pay over the odds i've got to say guys because age concern uk were retailing this for 95 pence and i paid five pence over so you could say i've been mugged off there <laughs> but yeah so i grabbed them nice and complete so I'm kind of slowly growing the PSP collection. I've not got much, but I've got some nice nice little games for it. Still want stuff like Medieval and that for it, though. Um, yeah, this one's... God, this one needs a right good clean, really. But, um, yeah, I've got this on PS2, but this is gone for the 360. So um, it's meant to be a really good game. It really is. It's meant to have... Um, I can't remember if it kind of, like, inspired Red Dead Revolver. I'm, I'm sure it came out before that. Um, or was it Red Dead Redemption or something? I can't remember, but it's that style kind of game anyway. But I remember Retro Gamer Magazine, they've, in the recent months, they've done like a nice write-up of it. So yeah, I really need to get around to playing that. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd grab it on the 360, because then I can get the achievements, can't I? Hashtag Gamerscore Hot. <laughs> and then last one from this car boot. Well, last game, anyway. Um, it was just a quid, I thought I'd grab it. I don't know what it's like on the DS, but it'll be a different experience. That's why I grabbed it. So it's the first Assassin's Creed, Altair's Chronicles. So I thought I'll grab it. Looks like you can obviously make use of the pen as well. Do a few drawing patterns or whatever. So yeah, I just got it because it's a, you know, it'll be a different experience. I really like um, this on the um, inlay as well. I think it's a really nice touch to include uh, some nice scenery and Altair and everything in it. So yeah, I'll grab that for just a quid. And then the last one, guys, um, this was just a quid as well. Um, it's not got a date on it, but it's nice and retro looking though. It's a nice Sonic. Lovely Sonic plush. It's an uh, old beanbag near his booty and everything. Um, yeah, it just does not have a, a tag on it at all. Um, well, sorry, it's got a tag. It's not got a date on it. 
Um, I had a quick search on eBay, but obviously if you search Sonic Plush or even Sonic Retro Plush, it's hard to find the exact one. So, yeah, it was really nice, though. Because as you guys know, I like to look for my retro plushes. I really prefer them, you know, when it comes to stuff like Pokemon, Sonic, etc. But, yeah, I thought it looked really nice. Um, on a side note, while I'm um, on about Sonic, guys, I'll show you a really cool design I've done. I've got into... I believe you say it like hammer beads. Um, you would have maybe seen these around. So I've, I've just got this as like a little separate project on the side. Um, and I've, I've done it with the intention of um, just trying to raise a bit of extra funds kind of thing. Like, um, So these will be on my stall at um, Doncast Video Game Market. And, you know, if I ever stall anywhere else. And um, I think I'm also going to just chuck some eBay listings up or even just try sell locally as well. So, yeah, I've got into hammer beads. So, you know, I've got nothing to lose. Um, I like, you know, new little projects and challenges. So, yeah, I've recently done a nice little uh, Sonic uh, pixelated, retro pixelated Sonic in hammer beads. So, yeah, um, I will be selling these designs, guys. I'm, I'm going to be doing, like, loads of other stuff. Obviously, your obvious Mario um, Zelda stuff. I'm going to do possibly some Stranger Things, Metal Slug, etc., etc., Pokemon, all that lot, all your popular stuff. And, uh, yeah, so it's really cool. I really enjoy doing it. It's very therapeutic. So it's a nice little project to have on the side. Right, 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 guys. I've just found a CEX receipt. And I've got the picture as well. Traded these in. Um, yeah, it was, it was cool because I was meeting Beth at the time. So I traded these in at CEX New York. Which is an absolute blessing because it's like so much like more easy going than my CEX. So uh, yeah, whenever um, I'm seeing Beth, like it is so nice to uh, trade in at Newport for a less stressful experience. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll I'll show you, show you a picture on screen right of the stuff that I traded in. So I'll just quickly run through, guys. Um, Call of Duty 4 80p, Saints Row 4 40p. <laughs> um, Two Mario Kart Wii's, nine quid each. Uh, Saints Row Third, forty p. Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty, eighty p. Nintendo Labrador, um, two quid. Uh, GTA Five for three sixty, three quid. Amazing Spider Man Two, three sixty, six quid. Medal of Honor, thirty uh, p for three sixty. I've already got it anyway. Um, yeah, three quid for Lego Movie Video Game. Uh, One pound thirty for Minecraft Story Mode. Um, for the 360 £1.90 for the Minecraft story mode on the Xbox One as well even that's not worth anything at all guys so don't get confused it's the complete edition that you want that's the one that's got the money in it um, yeah and Last of Us Remastered a tenner Minecraft on 366 quid Ghost Recon Wildlands on the PS4 for, for a tenner um, yeah, Star Wars Battlefront 2 was 8 quid, Resi Revelations 2, 8 quid, and then Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires, 8 quid. Um, sorry that was a bit of a mouthful, guys, but yeah, I'm just letting you guys know what I traded in. And then I got for that £87.90 in credit, so that is wicked. So I will tell you guys what I bought. I got Metal Slug First Mission for the Neo Geo Pocket, and it's all nice and complete. Must admit, I was pretty much bricking it, to be honest. It's really nice. It's got all, like, three of the manuals. And then the multicoloured ones there. Slips of paper. Um, don't want to, like, like rip it out again. Um, I've already like, had a look through it and everything. But it was already like this. But I can cope with it. It's just, like, wear and tear from, you know, just there. Just that bit. Just a bit annoying. But, yeah. The game is there in a really nice case. So I'm buzzing to have Metal Slug for the Neo Geo Pocket Colour massive fan of metal slug guys if you haven't played it you really need to it's on multiple platforms even just save your credit and get the anthology on ps2 it's so worth it guys definitely do get it get it with your credit i was really lucky and got a really nice copy of my credit and then the other one i found out about this um survival horror game from two sources i found out from beth and um metal jesus rocks channel as well uh, radical reggie actually did a bit of a review on it and uh yeah we we had a little go as well um yeah she was laughing at how scared i was getting everything it's awesome really good i really like it so far and that is hell knight on the ps1 so um yeah i believe metal slug was about 50 and then this was 60 or 65 it was 
Um, yeah, so obviously I got like that £87.90 on that credit note and then I had a little bit to put towards anyway so from some other fodder and whatever. So yeah, I grabbed that because listings on eBay are like 90 to 100 or even 100 plus. But the only problem, guys, you're ready for this. You, you all know how much this will hurt me. I got so hyped at first thinking, oh yeah, the manual's there, but no, it's just some Konami paperwork. But what's this? Holster hasn't returned the game. She's keeping a game with that manual. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm keeping it because it's such an obscure game. It's just a bugger to get hold of, to be honest, like for a decent price. And this has cost me next to nothing. It's not cost me like that much, obviously with the CEX credit. Um, but yeah, I'll keep on the lookout for a manual or I'll just obviously upgrade my copy at some point. I couldn't reorder from CEX because this was the only one in stock and it's now out of stock. So yeah. I thought, you know, bugger paying that much on eBay. Can't be doing with that, guys. Save your credit, guys. Bloody hell. Yeah, I've learnt that over time. So, I'll run through this catalogue with you guys. Because it's really cool. It's got some nice games on it. Metal Gear Solid, obviously. It's got some Konami classics on it. Legend of Cartier. I've not played that one. Uh, Trap Runner. I like to f flick through these guys for, you know, my own and your benefit. Just like... Just if there's any hidden gems in them. Silent Hill, obviously, got that in the collection. Ronin Blade, I've heard of that one. Not sure what that one is. Beat Mania, I've also heard of that. Don't own it. And also available now, there's a few uh, few sporty ones in there. Uh, Diver's Dream, that was a bit of nostalgia for me. I picked that up off Rich King Retro, uh, uh, Doncaster Video Game Market. There's also Sewer Coden, I think you say it like that, Sewer Coden. Um, yeah, they're more higher-end games, they are. Poi Poi 2, I've not played that one. But yeah, there's some uh, nice ones in here. Oh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, of course. And uh, yeah, Azori Dreams, Poi Poi, Vandal Hearts, yeah. And just some miscellaneous track and field NBA um, sport games. So yeah, that is our manual, guys. That is, uh... <laughs> yeah, I got so hyped to play. Oh yeah, it's complete. No, it isn't. But, oh well. That's all right. We'll keep an eye on eBay anyway. Try our luck anyway. We might get lucky. I just hate having to track down manuals. It does my head in, my OCD, whatever, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with that survival horror, though. That'll that'll be a decent one to get into. That I'm probably about half an hour or so into it. Uh, yeah, it's very creepy. Um, it kind of reminds me... I mean, it's not not anything like kind of like Outlast. It's just the fact that um, you kind of you don't have any like weapons in it. You just have to like run away from the uh, yeah the baddies and whatever. You have to run away from this like really creepy creature. Um, yeah, and you have no way to defend yourself just but to run and hide. So uh, yeah, Beth was laughing at how scared I was getting. I was jumping. I was jumping more than her. <laughs> so guys, that is it for this car boot pickups video. I hope you've all enjoyed it. What we've picked up at a few recent car boots. Um, do apologise for some of the lack of things. Um, I don't. Have have due to them being at CEX but yeah when I know it's like gonna be a little while until I'm able to get the free time to record a video uh, needs must and I must trade them in before the trade value drops but um yeah like I said I do keep the receipts and stuff and I do like to obviously try keep on track and let you guys know how much I uh, have accumulated and everything and of course what I've spent it on some really nice retro goodness in this one guys really happy with these titles two titles i've really wanted for a while so feel free to drop any comments in the section down below guys let me know what games pickups you've liked and what you've been picking up i'm always genuinely interested and thanks so much as usual for tuning into the video really you guys so much so cheers again for watching guys and good luck car booting and video game content i'll see you in a bit guys